Could you talk about the season so far? Yeah, the season's off to a great start. Well, actually, we're past the start. We're kind of that um, late late part of the season, but um, it's progressed well. I think from where we started to where we are now, uh, a lot of big changes um, on the men's side. Um, you know, we've had a couple new additions that are making big impacts, and the same on the women's side. But um, yeah, we had a good showing down at Willamette a couple weeks ago. Um, with uh, the Meet Tomorrow Lewis and Clark, kind of our last tune-up before heading into the conference meet, but uh, a few individuals really step up and making a big difference for the program. Could you talk about some highlights on both the men and women's side that has happened so far? <clears throat> yeah, I think on the on the men's side, um, probably um, the performances by Eric Aldrich, a uh, freshman from Summit High School. He's kind of established himself as our as our front runner and. Um, uh, one of the top contenders uh, for the conference I meet. Mean, he's he's really led the way for us and been has been really consistent. Uh, nothing has been, you know, nothing really has phased him as far as uh, the competition. Uh, he's just been a solid addition. Um, and the guys just steady improvement. Um, Alan Johnson had a good showing at Willamette. Uh, the rest of the guys are just continuing to develop, which is good to see on the women's side. Um, you know, some of the returners, Sarah Weibark has continued to kind of be up in the front, but then also see a Bywater has uh, really shown um, a contribution to the women's side. So um, on both sides, some really good uh, new additions. And moving forward into the final stretch of this season, what are some of the things you're going to focus on and improve from current meets that you've already had? Yeah, we just really, on the men's side, we just really need to stay consistent. Um, you know, we've had some ups and downs. Um, the thing is, the talent's there. Um, the guys just kind of need to all have a good day on the same day, really. Um, you know, getting out to the conference preview meet early on the season was a good thing. We we know what uh, to expect. Um, but we just need to mentally prepare and uh, do the things we're capable of, and we'll be just fine. Um, on the women's side, each week is getting better, so we just got to continue that trend. Um, you know, even with some of the some of the newcomers, uh, Brianna Keene is just continuing to get better. Um, and the returners as well. We just got to keep that, that steady incline going up into the conference meet. We get one more tune-up, like I said, uh, tomorrow to MacGyver Park, um, kind of a last showing, and then we get a few weeks to get some work done, and then we're back out in Idaho. And with the conference meet coming up, what are going to be some um, challenges <clears throat> with the other um, schools in the area, as well as outside the area, coming in to compete? Yeah, I mean, this conference is, I mean, known as probably the best conference in the country. So, um, you know, College of Idaho in the, on the women's side is ranked number two in the country. On the men's side, Southern Oregon is up there. Um, so we just have to, you know, we just got to do the things that we're capable of, take care of ourselves. Um, you know, some of it comes down to the Raiders as far as making it to the national meet. But um, it's a tough conference. We know what to expect. We know it's a good conference. Um, but we also know we're capable of running with them and being up there. So we just got to do the things that we're capable of.